again, welcome to Jan. Today's story is taken from Matthew chapter 13, verse 45 and 46, and it's another parable. It's called the story of the precious pearl. And again, I'm reading from Mick Inkpen's stories. Okay. So, here is a man who buys and sells things. He is called a merchant. He has a fine fur coat and a felt hat with a floppy feather. It is his favourite. The house he lives in is huge. It has five floors and a fish pond with a fountain in the front garden. The merchant has everything he wants. He has 15 rooms filled with furniture. He has four freezers full of food and three fridges for fizzy drinks. <laughs> and there is more money under his mattress than you could ever imagine. Much more. Yes, the merchant has everything he wants until one day in a shop window he sees something something special it is a wonderful white pearl five hundred thousand pounds says the man in the shop it is even more money than the merchant has under his mattress but he wants that pearl more than anything in the world. He hurries home. He has a plan. He sells his furniture, his fridges and his freezers full of food. He sells his house, his fountain and his fish pond. He sells his fine fur coat. But the felt hat with the floppy feather he keeps. <laughs> it's his favourite. He borrows a barrow and bundles in the money. Off to the shop he trundles to buy the pearl. <gasps> oh dear, he's still six pounds short. Sell me your hat for six pounds, says the man in the shop. <laughs> the merchant laughs. Oh, <laughs> He hands the man his hat and takes the pearl. Hooray! The pearl is his at last! Jesus says God is like the merchant's pearl. It costs everything to know him, but he is worth more than anything in the world. The end. Now, that's an interesting story because at the very end there, it explained that the pearl is like God and it said that God is worth more, more than anything to know but it also said it costs a lot to get God. Now that's a bit strange. Do we have to be rich? Does that mean to be a Christian? That is not what the Bible means. We don't have to pay any money to get to know God. What it means is that we have to give up our old way of thinking. So sometimes the world's way of thinking is that it's important to earn lots of money, to become rich, maybe to become famous, maybe to have lots of stuff. And that's what will make our life meaningful. But God's way is different. And he is saying that we need to give all of those ideas up. That's what he means as being the cost. And we have to put him first. All of our decisions and choices we have to give over to God to make our plans in line with his plans. And that's the costly part. But actually, becoming a Christian is just simply saying, God, thank you for what you did when you sent Jesus to die on the cross for the wrong things that I've done. And please come and help me in my daily life so that I can be a Christian and then when I die I can go and live with you in heaven. That's all it is. It's not hard. It doesn't cost a lot. It certainly doesn't cost any money.
And like the story said, if we have Jesus in our life, it's worth so much more than all of the things that we give up. And it doesn't mean we have to give up everything. It doesn't mean we still can't have th nice things. In fact, there are plenty of rich Christians in the world. But it's saying that getting to know God it is like that man with his precious pearl, worth more than anything. I'm going to say a prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to understand the message from the story of the man with his precious pearl. Help us to understand that knowing you does not cost us any money, but it might sometimes cost us something else. And I pray that you will help us to understand that it's worth it knowing you. It's the most precious thing we can have in all the world. Amen. That's it. That's great to see you all. And I'll see you one more time on video. And then in two weeks time, hopefully we'll see you in person. Bye for now.